मुख्तार अब्बास नकली पूछ रहे थे कि क्या किसान की बंदूक और इंटरनेशनल कंस्पिरसी का संदूक लेकर के विपक्ष अब इस आंदोलन के पीछे आ गया है परमा जी सबसे पहले जो उन्होंने कहा एमएसपी को दे के मुख्तार अब्बास नकली साहब ने मतलब इतने वरिष्ठ नेता है और इतना इस तरीके का बयान उनसे एक्सपेक्ट नहीं करना चाहिए 2016 में मैं ये बात आपकी टेंडन पर कई बार कह चुका हूं कर्जुनल अफेयर्स कमेटी के अध्यक्ष तत्कालीन गुजरात के मुख्यमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी और उन्होंने जब ये देश के प्रधानमंत्री मनमोहन सिंह साहब थे तब उन्होंने लिखा था कि इन्हें कानून का अधिकार देके कानूनी अधिकार देके एमएसपी लागू की जाए उसके बगैर किसानों का भला नहीं हो सकता अखिलेश जी मैं मैं एक सेकंड ये हम बिफोर वी गेट एक्सट्रीमली रेपिटेटिव मैं आपसे एक बहुत स्पेसिफिक सवाल पूछ रही हूं पंजाब और हरियाणा हाईकोर्ट में ये कथित तौर पे जो जो आंदोलनकारी हैं वो पिटिशन लेकर के जाते हैं कि भाई यूएन को हम चिट्ठी लिख देंगे इसके पीछे क्या मंशा है आप प्रोटेस्ट करें पहली बात तो आप प्रोटेस्ट कीजिए स्टेट लेवल पे आपको भी ये पता होगा दैट देर इज एमएसपी ऑन फोर्टीन थिंग्स इन हरियाणा बट ओनली टू थिंग्स इन पंजाब दे कैन आस्ट द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट फॉर ऑल ऑफ देयर डिफरेंट डिमांड्स नो दे डोंट आस्ट द स्टेट द डिसाइड टू मार्च टू डेली फाइन इवन दैट इज ओके What is the point of writing to the UN? And this is not something that we are asking. It's the Punjab and Haryana High Court who is asking. UN को चिट्ठी लिखने का क्या मतलब है? नहीं मुझे इस बारे में जानकारी नहीं है कि किसानों ने कोई UN को चिट्ठी लिखने की बात कही है और UN को चिट्ठी लिखने से होगा क्या? भाई भारत भारत की समस्या है हम आपस में बैठने में चाहेंगे हमारी जवान है हमारी भारत हमें अपनी सरकार से कि हमारे इन मुद्दों पे सरकार गंभीरता से विचार करे हमारी तकलीफ है हम अपनी तकलीफ चाहते कि सरकार दूर करे और वही बात कहते हैं जिस बात को भारत में बीजेपी सरकार से बनने से पहले जो उन्होंने दावा किया था okay. एक बात अलविदा से आपको आई एम आस्किंग अबाउट वेरी स्पेसिफिक इशू लेट मी आस्क संजय झा अबाउट इट संजय झा द हरियाणा गवर्नमेंट इन दिस एफिडेविट एट दिस स्पोक अबाउट दिस पोपोर्टेड लेटर टू द यू एन ऑल्सो सेट दैट देर आर प्रोटेस्ट साइट्स इन यमुनानगर चरखी दादरी कुरूक्षेत्र झज्जर पंचकुला एंड देर इज अ कंसर्न अबाउट एजुटेटर्स नॉट सीकिंग परमिशन एंड पोटेंशियली मूविंग विद वेपन एंड प्लानिंग टू कैंप इन डेली द ओवरऑल इंसिन्यूएशन इज दैट दिस इज मोर देन जस्ट अ प्रोटेस्ट इट इज अ बिगर डिजाइन राइटिंग टू द यू एन मूविंग विद वेपन एक्सेट्रा संजय झा Agaja, there is a sense of uh, there's a view here. This is the same political party, the BJP and its administration, that called the farmers, Khalistanis, separatists, anti-nationals. The same playbook is being repeated. You remember they flew their cops to Bangalore to arrest a 22-year girl called Disha Ravi and made her out to be part of some international conspiracy. I mean, this is a government that does not even understand its own farmers. Think about it, Padmaja. There are 11,000 farmers or farm labor who commit suicide in a year. Why do they commit suicide? Do we realize that a life is lost? Mm. Can you imagine the level of desperation in the rural sector? Point number one. Point number two, who lied to the farmers, Padmaja? Who told the farmers that we'll double your income by 2022? Who has gone back on that promise? Hmm. This government. Point number three: Go back to the promise made on the MSP in 2014. They promised the MSP to the farmers in the 2014 campaign, and guess what they did? They went to the Supreme Court and gave an affidavit and said, "We can't fulfill that promise." I mean, this is a government that basically lies day in day out to farming community. Where, if you look at it, the number of people in the farmlands. Is roughly 48 to 50 percent of India. But Mr. Shah, If what is the deja vu in what the government is saying? Because the the pictures, I don't know if you can see them. The pictures released by the Ambala by the Ambala administration show that what they have said on affidavit is true. That there were people who were pelting stones. There were well, people who were engaging in skirmishes with the police. Well, Padmaja, can I add one point? Yes. Can the viewers, can the viewers of your program just do a rewind, a mental rewind to that ugly, violent incident at Lakhimpur Kheri, 
where the son of a minister in the Modi cabinet and he went to jail. Literally, the entire and he went to jail. So people who were killed in cold blood. What's the comparison? He went to jail. As should hmm. people who are pelting stones. Padmaja, we are talking about Ashish the state Mishra machinery went to jail. and his powerful leaders attacking farmers. I mean, Sir, I am showing you pictures right now. Farmers. Okay. This is a sense of deja vu Ratan Sharda that anyone who stands up is painted as some kind of Khalistani, anti-national. So what if somebody goes to the UN? Well, this is a very tame excuse to talk about, you know, naming them Khalistanis. As far as this education has started, no, nobody has called them Khalistanis, but there are Khalistani elements misusing this education for their own good and there are people within the crowd have shown their two colors. Have you forgotten the video clip where the, where a Kisan leader says they have to cut down Modiru's size, his graph has gone very high. So, and from beginning, this agitation is nothing but political. To call it farmers pain or is fine. But GDP contribution of the farming today is just 15%. I am not belittling the contribution of farmers. What I am saying is, for other 85%, should they also start demanding their own rights, their own pension, their own minimum salary, etc.? Should they do a Manarega also? So, kind of demand that have been put up. There's another question. An international conspiracy and saying why you're stopping farmers. Have you forgotten the disgrace of 26th January? Have you forgotten this case of a woman being raped, Dalit, man being killed or some kind of blasphemy? Has any action been taken? Are you forgetting how international celebrities are used hmm. to get pop to make this farm of agitation very popular and for government to save people from riots, save people from uh, violence that happened in Delhi? Should government not take preventive action? These are preventive actions. Have celebrities that are own great people going to your name talked about how Canada crushed the uh, the truck? Uh, are you uh, saying that people are being this 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 is usually called a conspiracy theory that celebrities are being used that people are being mobilized, Ratan Shada? It is propaganda. It is not controversy. It is propaganda. And Sanjay talked about Disha Ravi. See if you remember, toolkit became famous. The word when Disha Ravi. And her correspondent used it. So, toolkit, which is now very prevalent term being used, the toolkit was popularized by same Disha Ravi. So, let us forget all that also. Okay, respond, so, trying to defend somebody hmm. for all kind of internationalization of minor petty issues to say that this is a conspiracy, this is against six and all. I'm sorry, six uh, today Punjab is downhill in the in industry. It is downhill farming production. It is half the oh, total let him farming production. Yeah. This is not That's conspiracy theory, it is, it, yeah. is, it is very real. Sanjay Jha. But, well, Mr. Sharda talked about the contribution of agriculture to the GDP. That straight away tells you of the contempt they have for those who are of the have-nots. Well, Mr. Sharda, let me tell you that the manufacturing sector, that the Prime Minister woos day and night out with wine and cheese, and with avocado and toast, the manufacturing sector's contribution to the GDP is also 15%. Is also 15%. So stop wasting, wasting the time of this country by having I a plan to suspend it. I am not saying that debilitating their contribution. That is the first sentence. What I clearly said was, should everybody start demanding these kind of privileges? I have the rope. They are not making any contribution. And are farmers not getting subsidies? Are they not being protected well? And are they, what, my farm bill was there, farm bill was there to raise the income of the farmers to double. These very people destroyed their farm bill with some excuses, some fear, some kind of doubt scared in the mind, and using that one small portion of farming community across India, by just those, those Punjabi farmers. I am from Punjab. I know how Punjab has declined since my childhood or has gone down the drain because of this kind of politics, this kind of uh, totally rented farming.